hello guys <clears throat> now it happened about not that long ago I was living in Carson with my dad before I moved here to Michigan with my mom now obviously I have a thing for monsters but the thing is it was pretty simple now l let me let me revive what had happened recount the tale for you it was a pretty great day out I decided I would go off to my friend Jacob's house to spend a couple nights there uh, now this wasn't uncommon for me. I, of course, I went over there all the time. It was practically like family to me. He was practically like family. Now I shoved some clothes in a bag and some snacks if I got hungry on the way over and a little bit of cash. Now, I was pretty tight-fisted when it came to money, but... I barely contributed to our money usage. Now, I hopped on my bike and decided to head over there, planning to bitch about everything that my dad had yelled at me for the previous few days. Feeling lucky that I hadn't been, hadn't been grounded from going over there. Now, I was, you, as you can imagine, the roads were pretty narrow, as, of course, it was just the road and then two dirt ways before you actually met fence. Now, the dirt was meant to be like pavement. You could walk on it. But what I saw on there was just fucking creepy. Now... A lot of things really don't creep me out, but this did. There was an old man sitting on the side of the road. Now, now I'm pretty used to old, like, homeless people. Now, it's nothing uncommon for homeless people to be around, seeing as how they are pretty much everywhere now. So... What struck me as fucking creepy was the fact that this old man, this old homeless guy, two things were off about him. One was his eyes, which were just empty sockets. And the second were his, his teeth. The, the, the second <clears throat> was his teeth which were sharpened to a point and were red and yellow stained now a lot of things don't creep me out but this was fucking disturbing now I'm a pretty decent person when it comes to this kind of stuff so I rode by and ignored it thinking it might have been my imagination of course when I got to my friend Jacob's house I immediately told him about it and he said I must have been imagining things <laughs> of course uh, how dare I see something that's not there <laughs> uh, it's just my imagination after a good hour of playing the Wii and Xbox 360 and looking up music on his computer I was back to my normal self, completely forgetting about that. Now, we there was four of us in the house at the time, and we were getting pretty thirsty. Now, this is where the monsters come in. We all were craving monsters. So, of course, nobody wanted to go because we were having too much fun. So me, being one that had no problems going anywhere and no tether 
I decided, damn it, guys, I'll go. So they pulled out their bills for the monsters. And seeing as how I knew I was going to have to pay for my own, I had mine already ready for to go. So I grabbed the change and I left on my bike once again. I was nearing the path where I'd seen that old man earlier and started to get a really bad feeling about it. Started to get goosebumps. Now, I really do not like this. But, I decided instead of taking that path, I would take the longer route to Walmart. Seeing as how I really didn't want to imagine what was still there. If something was still there. Fuck. Well, Walmart wasn't that far anyways. So, I took the longer route. Took some dirt roads, tried not to hit any nails that might be rusty on the side of the road. So, I reached Walmart, parked, and locked my bike. I went in, grabbed the monsters that everybody wanted. Now, I got the monsters and put them in a bag. Now, I was heading out the door when I saw that fucking thing sitting next to the door no eyes and fucking creepy ass grin on his face now this would have been fine had it not been for the fact that he had a hat with change in it and he said two words change please now I don't care who you are that's creepy. No eyes. Red and yellow stained teeth with a hat saying, Change, please. Yeah, no. Absolutely not. No. What I did was real calm and real gentle. I told him, I'm sorry, sir. I don't have any change. <laughs> that was a fucking lie. I had, like, two quarters in my pocket. Now, I grabbed my bike, and I heard the sound of crackling bones as I started to pedal. The man was standing up. I didn't find this creepy, because maybe he had something else to do. What was creepy was as soon as he started running after me. Now, I could hear him coughing behind me. <coughs> now, Seeing as how he was old, I didn't think nothing of it until, of course, I was still facing forward. That's why I thought nothing of it. Until I heard him wheezing and gasping. <gasps> he was still running after me. So I pedaled faster thinking, fuck, what the hell does he want? Shit! Jacob's gonna be so pissed if he finds our house. Well, I lost him in a trail of dust on the dirt path, which was about two minutes away from where Walmart was, and about a mile on foot from Walmart. That man had followed me an entire mile on foot, just running and gasping and wheezing. Oh my god! Okay. Okay. So the man was nowhere to be seen as I pulled into my friend Jacob's place again. I dropped my bike and walked in with the monsters. I was happily greeted by everybody. Shadow! Yeah. I got your monsters. Don't worry. So I sat down and it was about two hours later when we heard a knock on the door. It must have been Christian's dad, because, huh, well, this just had to have been. Now, Christian started grabbing his stuff, which indicated that he figured it was his dad, until Manuel looked at the people. Now, Manuel's not that tall, but 
he can still see through the people on the door and said it wasn't his dad as a matter of fact it was some guy with no eyes and a fucking creepy grin instantly I knew who it was it was that fucking god that guy from earlier I didn't wanna say anything so I told him ignore it and we all went back to playing our games we turned on the TV and lowered our voices though but again a knock came at the door this one was more frantic as if he really wanted in now I wasn't prepared for what was about to go down now th this continued for a good five minutes of nothing but this before his knocks began to get violent now I'm not a person for really like fighting I'm more of a person that runs my indicate my tall legs and everything tallness long legs I can run breath on the other hand is not that great my shortness of breath always causes my running speed to slow down because I need to catch my breath now of course in, in our group I was still the fastest and most agile person so I was prepared to run but when my friend Jacob opened the door there was nobody there now obviously this was scaring all of us because that wasn't a thing. Like there was normally a person. There. We we all saw it through the people. There was a person there. You cannot fucking lie. Well, there's nobody there," said Jacob. We all looked out the door, and there was nobody there. Of course. So we all have been imagining it now. <laughs> Jeremiah came out, and Jacob's little brother. And asked, what have you guys been smoking? Because we'd been imagining things. Nothing, I said. We just, I guess, tired. So we went and took a nap. Hours later, we were back on the video games, of course. Drinking our monsters and playing our video games. When there was a shriek back in Jeremiah's room. Me being the fastest, I got back there first and saw what he had screamed at. He was fending himself with his dagger that he had displayed in his room. A little dragon dagger. The creature looked at me. Oh God, it looked at me with its empty bloody sockets and smiled. Now, <laughs> Nowadays, I'm perfectly fine, but in that moment, it was pure terror. I darted out of his room, the creature right behind me, all you heard was... Right behind me, all the way back there. <laughs> My friend Jacob, thank God he was a cook, was waiting as I flew by with a frying pan creature decided to come out BAM frying pan straight to the face the creature instantly disappeared Manuel went straight down screaming and kicking the creature had gotten a hold of him it shrieked as we couldn't hold on Jacob ran towards Manuel Christian decided to run back and check on Jeremiah everything was going to shit then it was done the creature was gone. We waited for several hours and there was nothing. No sign of the creature. Well, that's it. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, that's going to be my first creepypasta. Um, I'm telling this one, the homeless man. Don't ever look at him. Um, I may be doing more of these depending on whether you guys like it or not. Please drop a like and subscribe. Um, Depending on how many likes and subscribes I get on this, I will definitely do more. And please leave a comment. And as always, I will see all of you in the shadows. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.